starting their career, uh, I think there are probably a lot of things. Some of them are very well known and people have heard them many times, they're still true. One of those is you should always focus on a young person should find something that they're passionate about to do. And um, that's not going to surprise anyone. It's, it's a clear thing to do. It's very hard. If you don't love your work, you're never going to be great at it. Um, I think the other thing I would suggest to uh, any young person, uh, even before they start their career, is to really think about their choices. Because I find young people, and I, I, when I was young, I, had, I made this mistake too. You can get very fixed on your gifts. So everybody has gifts. You know, you, you have gifts and you have things that you didn't get gifted. Maybe you're extremely beautiful. Maybe you're extremely good at mathematics. Maybe you, there are a lot of things that you can be given. But those things can confuse you because they're not the things that construct your life. It's your choices that construct your life, not your gifts. You can celebrate your gifts. Be proud of them. Be happy of them. Actually, don't be proud of them. Be be celebratory of them, but you can't be proud because they're gifts. They were given to you. You didn't earn them. You can only be proud of the things you earn. And so, as I got older, I started to realize I wasn't proud of my gifts. I was always good at school. School is always easy for me. And I was always proud that I was a great student. I got A's in all my classes. I was good at math, all of that. And I thought, I thought that's who I was, but it's not true. Those are the things that are gifts. What was hard for me is deciding to work hard, deciding to use my gifts in certain ways, to challenge myself to uh, do things that I didn't think I could do, to put myself in uncomfortable situations. We all get, I would say to a young person, you can choose a life of ease and comfort, or you can choose a life of service and adventure. Which one of those, when you're 90 years old, are you going to be more proud of?